Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a cloth reveal animation in Blender. We'll be creating a detailed car cloth simulation, focusing on realistic collisions and a visually dynamic reveal. And finally, I will give you a blend file for free so you can advance your practice. Before we dive in, make sure to like the video. Let's go. All right, we're here in the brand new Blender 4.4. That's really cool. It's officially available on the Blender website, and as always, it's free. Go download it. Let's jump in. I don't want the default scene, so I'm gonna delete it. Now, we need a car model. So, head over to Blender Kit and grab one. In my case, I've already downloaded it, so I'll just append the car from my file storage. Okay, here we go. This is our car model, and let's get started building our scene. First things first, we need to make our car suitable for collision. Let's start by duplicating the car. Now we've got two of them. Press M to create a new collection and give it any name. I'll call it Collision. The idea is, one will be the original car for the final render, but the other, the one I moved into the Collision collection, is gonna be a low poly version. This will help us get a nice collision with the cloth. That's the plan. Now, let's continue. As you can see, our car is made up of many separate body objects, but we need them as a single object. You might be thinking of selecting them all and pressing Ctrl plus J, but not yet. Because the objects are made with plenty of modifiers, we should apply them first, then join them. We don't need to apply each modifier one by one. Instead, select all of them, go to Object, then Convert to Mesh. This will allow us to convert any curves and other things into meshes, and also applies all the modifiers, which is cool. Now we can join them into a single object. Cool. Let's set the origin to geometry. Now it's time to decrease the car's poly count. As you can see, our car has a dense geometry, which isn't necessary. We can achieve this with many approaches, like adding a remesh modifier and decreasing the voxel size, but I prefer going with a decimate modifier. This helps us decrease the poly count without losing the car's detailed shapes. Let's add it. As you can see, the face count is really crazy. But if we decrease the ratio to something like 0.01. Wow, look at this. And if we shade smooth and save it. Look, we still have the car's detail shapes, but we've also decreased a bunch of poly counts, which is cool. Let me show you. Look at the dense geometry. And if we apply the modifier, Don't worry about the topology, because this isn't the one we'll render. Now we can add a cloth mesh to our car. The idea is, we'll add a cloth right up there, and it'll fall on the car. Later, we'll add advanced things. Let's simply add a mesh plane, move it to the top, and increase the size. Let's subdivide it. Maybe 70 is enough. Now, if we add a cloth physics to the plane and a collision physics to the car and play the simulation, we'll get these weird collision issues. That's why instead of adding a cloth directly on the car, I prefer making a shrink wrapped plane on the car than making the simulation with that. Let me show you that trick. Let's select the plane, maybe increase the subdivision again. Don't worry about the high poly count, we'll decrease it later. Delete the cloth physics. Then add a shrink wrap modifier. Set the target to the car. Change the wrap method to project. And check negative. Now you'll get this weird result. But literally, that's what we want. Select the top vertices, 
Make sure you're in wireframe mode. Move them down, maybe snap them to the base grid. This hides the car. Now, this is the new shape we got from the shrink wrap modifier. Let's make it low poly. Let's apply it. Actually, we can decrease it more later. If you're still with me, please consider hitting that like button. It supports the channel and helps me bring you more content like this. Now, let's make a cloth simulation. Add a new mesh plane, move it to the top. In edit mode, increase the size and subdivide it. Maybe 75. Let's add a cloth. And let's add a collision. Now, if we play, we'll get this cool collision. No overlapping, just a smooth collision. Let's hide the shrink wrap and unhide the car. Actually, we can unhide the original car model now, and you can just delete the collision car now, but I'll just hide it. Make sure to turn off the rendered view of the shrink wrapped object. Very cool. Let's save it. If you see things like this when you increase the size of the cloth, it's time to increase the base of the collision. So, let's decrease the poly count first. Select the border vertices, then increase the scale. Now hide it and let's play. Cool. Shade it smooth. And let's go to the advanced cloth settings. We don't actually need the cloth to just fall onto the car. We want a cloth reveal, so we have to do a couple of things. We need a hook right here to pull our cloth. So first, go to edit mode, select some of these vertices, then assign them as a vertex group. Then go back to object mode, add a hook modifier, Grab it up, enter edit mode, press shift plus S to place the cursor in the middle of the selected vertices. Now, add an empty. Now assign this empty to the hook target and go to the cloth settings, then drop the shape, assign the previous vertex group to the pin group. Now, if we play the animation, we'll get this. Now we have to animate the hook. So select the empty, then go to the first frame. Add a location keyframe. Go to frame 20, maybe. Then move your empty and add another location keyframe. And then go to the final frame. In this case, I'll set it to frame 160. Then grab the empty backwards and add a location keyframe. Now, if we play the animation, we see that the empty is moving, but still, the cloth isn't following it. This is because we missed assigning the vertex group also to the hook. Now, if we play the animation, we'll get this. Nice! We're almost there.
The other things are just optimization of the cloth quality. You can control the reveal speed with the empty keyframes. Now, when we see the cloth, there are a couple of quality problems. The first one is, the cloth isn't colliding with itself. And the second one is, it's very flat and doesn't have thickness. Let's fix that. To add some thickness, add a solidify modifier. And to fix the collision, go to the cloth settings, then go to the collision. Increase the quality, enable self-collision, and decrease the distance. Last but not least, add a subdivision surface modifier to make the cloth smoother. Finally, we can bake the simulation in order to save our memory. Cool. Now, let me show you my render and lighting setup. Change the render engine to cycles. About the samples, 10 are enough in the viewport, and 128 for the render. Let's add a plane. Oops, this is because our 3D cursor isn't on the world origin. So, Shift plus S, then cursor to 3D world. Add a plane. In edit mode, extrude these two edges. Then select the three of them. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel and increase the segments. Shade smooth. So, we have a seamless background. Let's add a camera. Adjust the view and press Ctrl plus Alt plus zero to align the camera to the view. Let's increase the size of the background. Now, it's time to set up the light and some materials. I'll drag the window to make the workspace better. Add an area light. Move it to the top then increase the size and increase the power also.
select the background, give it some material. This is already up to you, I'm just trying to show you for fun. This is all about today's video. I hope you all learned something. And again, please like, share, and subscribe so that you can help me grow. And I'll be glad if you join my YouTube membership. Thank you for watching. See you in the next Blender tutorial. Thank you.